What is going on everyone? My name is Codemore and welcome back to Intro to Web Development Episode 3. In this episode, we are actually going to create our very first website, so let's get to it. Now before we can create a website, we need some place to write our HTML code. So open up the text editor that you're going to be using, again I'm using Notepad++, and open up a blank text document. If you're using Notepad++, you can click this little icon up here and that'll create a new blank text document for you. This is where we're going to begin creating or writing our HTML code and basically create our website. So let's get to it. So the very first line of code that you should put in almost every single HTML document that you ever create should specify which version of HTML that you are using. So we have to write a line of code that will tell the web browser, hey, we are using HTML version 5, the latest version of HTML. Now luckily HTML version 5 has the easiest way to do this. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a less than symbol or an opening angle bracket, an exclamation point, and then the words doc type, all in one word, then put a space and then type HTML, and then a greater than symbol or a closing uh, angled bracket. This right here is a line of code that simply tells the web browser, hey, we are using HTML version 5. You're going to want to put that at the top of almost every single HTML document you create, so you should get in the habit of knowing that line of code and putting it at the top of your files. Alright, now let's get on to the actual website programming portion of our HTML document. Before we can actually do this, however, we have to learn just how HTML code is written. HTML is written using tags. Now, a tag is basically anything in between a less than and a greater than symbol, or anything in between two angled brackets. So anything in between two angle brackets like this right here is called a tag, and we are going to use so many tags that you're going to get the hang of them in no time. A tag is simply a piece of code that tells the web browser to do something. So a tag, the viewer of your website is never going to see a tag displayed on the screen. A tag is strictly code that will tell the web browser to do something. And like I said, you're going to get the hang of this in no time once we start using tags. So the very first tag that we're going to learn is called the HTML tag. So the HTML tag is obviously a tag, so it has to go in between two angled brackets, and the HTML tag is simply the letters HTML. So this right here is called the HTML tag. Now, this simply says, all right, web browser, this is the beginning of our actual website code. That's all it says. Now, if this says begin our website code, shouldn't there also be a tag that says let's end our HTML code? Well, there is. It's called the closing HTML tag. Now, this HTML tag that we just wrote is actually referred to as the opening HTML tag. The closing HTML tag looks the exact same thing as the opening HTML tag, except it has a slash in front of it. So, we have the opening HTML tag, which says, alright, let's begin our actual website code. Then we have the closing HTML tag, which is the same thing, just it has a slash in front of it, and it says, alright, we're done writing our website code. Again, you're going to get the hang of tags in no time, so don't worry if you don't quite understand it. So basically, the rest of our website code is going to go in between these two HTML tags, the opening and closing HTML tag. Because if this says start our HTML and end our HTML, our actual code must go in between the two. The next tag that we're going to learn is called the head tag. So in between your opening and closing HTML tags and in between more angled brackets, you're going to write the word head. And the head tag also has a closing tag, so write the same thing below it but with a slash in front of it. The head tag, or the head section, and a section is basically anything in between an opening and a closing tag. So the head section is used to store important information for our website. We're going to put all the important information of our website in here. Now the main piece of important information that we must put on every single one of our websites is going to be a title. We need to name our website and give it a title. So between your opening and closing head tags, open up the title tag, and right after the title tag, write the title of your website. I'm just going to write my site, but you can write whatever you'd like. Then don't forget to close the title tag after it. So in between the opening and closing title tags is going to be your title, and that will become the title of your site. Now you'll also notice that I am indenting my code. There's a big space here, and there's also two spaces here. I'm indenting my code because it looks much more neater and more organized, and you can read your code better. I recommend that you get in the habit of spacing out your code like I do, but you don't have to. It is good programming practice, however, so I do recommend that you space out your code like I do in the upcoming tutorials. So much more is going to go inside of this head section. There's still a bunch of important information that we can put here, but for right now, we're just going to do the title. 
Now let's get on to the actual part of our website that the viewer of our site will see on the screen. So we've programmed all of the important stuff for our site. Now we actually have to program the part of our site that we're able to actually see on the screen. The part of your website that you're actually able to view or see on the screen is referred to as the body. So nearly all of our HTML code from here on out is going to go in between an opening and a closing body tag. Again, between the body tags is what's actually seen on your website. So between the two tags here, you can write anything that you would like. I'm just going to write hello YouTube for now, but you can write anything that you would like. This should display the words hello YouTube or whatever you wrote here onto the screen and become your actual website. So I'm going to go over this code really quickly now. The first line of code we have here is simply a tag that says that we are using HTML version 5. Next, we put the rest of our code in between an opening and a closing HTML tag. This is the actual code part of our website. In between the opening and closing head tags is where we declare any important information for our website. One piece of important information that we're declaring here is the title of our website. So between an opening and a closing title tag, we're putting the title of our website. That can be anything that you'd like. The next part we have to program is the part of our website that we can actually see on the screen. The part of the website that we see on the screen is referred to as the body. So between your opening and closing body tags is going to be the content of your website that you see on the screen. For right now, you can write any text that you'd like here, and it should display it on the screen. Now let's go ahead and save this and run it. Now before we're actually able to view our website in the web browser, we have to save our HTML document. So go into your text editor and select File and then Save As, or something similar to that. This will ask you for a file name, the name of your HTML file. You can name it absolutely anything. I'm going to name mine Episode 3 because it's Episode 3 of this tutorial series, but you can name it anything that you'd like. But make sure after your file name you add .html. This is very, very important. This signifies that it's an HTML document and that your web browser will be able to open it. If you don't have this, your web browser won't open it properly. Another thing is, if you're using something similar to Notepad++, under the Save As type, make sure you select Hypertext Markup Language or HTML. This will also ensure that you save it as an HTML document. Next, you're going to have to choose a folder or an area on your computer to save it to. You can save it to your desktop or anywhere, but I highly recommend that you save it to a folder on your computer. I have a folder named Beginner HTML on my desktop, and that's where I'm going to save this file. But you can save it anywhere that you'd like. Go ahead and click Save, and that should save your HTML file. Now, if you open up the folder that you saved it in, you'll see that you have your document, whatever you named it, such as episode3.html. If you double click on this, it should automatically open up the web browser that you use and display your website. This is awesome, we have a working website. On the upper tab here, we have the title of our website that we put, in my case it's my site, and in the body section of our HTML document is the content of it, and that's exactly what's displayed to the screen. This is awesome guys, we have a working website with a title and we're able to display any text that we want to the screen. Now I want you guys to go ahead and try something. First of all, make sure that you generally understand the code. If you don't fully understand it, you're going to get the hang of it in no time. What I want you guys to start doing is try and figure out how to add a second line to your HTML document. So maybe press the enter key and add a new line of text. Try anything that you can to get a second line into your HTML document. I bet it's not what you think it is. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next tutorial, but go ahead, experiment with this, change your title, add some more text to it, and make sure you understand it all. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.